Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Well, the Oldsmobile, I worked off the homestead today, but the Oldsmobile has something new on it. Um, where I was working, we chiseled and chipped and pried and ground, and we finally got the uh, receiver to fit my car. And that's a good thing. And I have a real, the real deal fits the car now. And we immediately hauled, whoops, I just had a cat on my foot. Immediately hauled home. Now I haven't done this because I haven't been home most of the day. But with my own car, I hauled home some oak that I had cut and split myself. And I got it sitting here to cure and dry in the sun and boy it's splitting. That one right there is splitting hard today, just since I set it up here. So, um, that is all wood that I cut myself just uh, oh, a few days ago and split it myself using the log splitter over there. Uh, it reminds me, I want to show you the log splitter and get your opinion on that. I may end up getting it. Um, it's a 24 ton log splitter with a Honda 5.5 horse engine. Uh, it's a tractor piston, home homemade job. And he's asking 500 for it and I can make payments and have it here now and continue cutting firewood myself and make payments on it after or as I go along, you know. But there's a little bit of wood here, oak, that'll be nighttime heating. But I need a whole lot more than that. Oh, there's a couple pieces of pine in there you might notice if your eyes are good. That's been it today so far for me. Good morning everybody. I didn't finish this video last night because it was too dark. I went out in the woods and I cut a live tree down for the mill. Um, this is an average tree out here. It's not big at all. This is about as big as they get for average out here. Now there's some, uh, these are jack pines. There are some fatter ones, but they're not at all straight. There's nothing straight about them. This was a jack pine that the, the younger ones seem straighter. The old ones are gnarly and very, very uneven. Um, there's some white pines, but they're very rare, and I'm not going to cut out the only white pines I've got out here. Um, especially when I'm still learning on the mill. But I set this up, I don't know, it may be eight, nine footer or something. And I'm going to experiment with cutting this to make um, siding. So I have a plan, and I'm going to show you what my plan is. And we'll have a look, and then I'll get this video uploaded, and then I'll get cutting on this for today. If you can see it behind the trees, the trailer has a overhang. There's a porch on the trailer. Now what we want to do is eventually close this in and have a raised deck to the height of where the stairs, the steps go, well the, the, the lower edge of the trailer itself and then have skirting below. We'd like to have a deck here and close in the walls around it. So we have uh, another layer of insulation between the trailer and the outdoors and also a place to hang out. So I'd like to have like half height here and then screened in all the way around with maybe removable homemade windows or something. I'll have to see how it goes with time. But for starters we could put a screen all the way around and then frame in the upper half if I got windows. Now eventually I want to take the trailer windows out and the existing windows and probably use them on the porch and then I want to eventually come out to the end of these 4x4s and fill this in, frame it in, insulate and then put homemade siding on the trailer. The only problem is our trees are so small I don't know what it's going to take to do that. Um, again, there's not very many white pines out there, and I really hate to to take out any of the very few good trees that there are. 
and uh, I don't know I'm gonna have to find a source for wood for raw materials but that's the plan is to start closing this in now I have this is a 12 by 20 porch which is really nice and I have the materials the 2 by 6 is to frame that in on the bottom but none of the logs none of the trees I have are big enough to make the floor so that's a bit of an issue there to make planks so I'm gonna have to find a source for trees for the planking for the floor as well and then to close this in but I'm gonna experiment let me take you back over to the mill by the way I didn't think so but we had a heavy frost again last night I wasn't paying attention we didn't cover the garden so I don't know what will be done to the garden I can't see the lens because it's in full sun now but now even in the sun still it's cold enough out yet I have a coat on that it hasn't melted yet now somebody is disputing whether this is frost or where's my finger whether this is frost or not or do and see it melts when I touch it all the hairs see where's my finger all the hairs on the grass are covered in this frost and when I touch it it melts and now it's wetter so somebody was arguing with me do doesn't have icicles on it that is definitely not just do that's frozen it turns to water when I touch it I don't know why people just don't believe me I have a, a weather station and I have a video and people still don't believe that that's frost on the ground I don't know why after two seasons here I've learned to realize that our weather here is different than what the weather station in town shows. Anyway, it's all over. It's, it was more this time than, than before, and it was supposed to be in the mid-50s last night. So, we just have a way different uh, weather than what's in, predicted out there in town. So, um, these I was going to use on the greenhouse roof, which I haven't finished yet. I still have a lot of digging to do. They're the perfect size for the greenhouse, but they're also the perfect amount to do the porch of the trailer. So I would decide what's the higher priority at this time, uh, which I really want to do first. Now they'll be protected from the weather under that roof, so they'll last forever down there, I think. And then back over here, I'm going to cut this into slabs. I'm probably going to make one cut along this way and then cut off one side flat. And then the idea is to make, experimentally make um, siding, which I'm going to put on the chicken coop because the chicken coop isn't finished because I ran out of wood that works for that. And I'm going to make natural edge siding using a tree like this. And then I'm going to let it cure for a week or two and then put it over on the chicken coop and see how well it. Uh, works. Now some people say you can use green wood immediately, some people say you got to cure it for six months to a year, and some say cure it for a, a couple weeks in a good wind. We're going to find out. So I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut as many pieces as I can, can, can get out of that, let it out, or leave it out in the wind, and let it get some airflow for a week or two, and put it up and see what happens, see how it reacts. So that's what this is about. Alright guys, I'm going to get this video on there. Tell me your opinions and thoughts on everything and start the new day. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share. Follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. And milling our own lumber is part of self-sufficiency.